Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Kevin here from lp24audio.com and today I'm going to show you how to make cool drum sounds in Serum not through synthesis but through sampling. So check this out, we could drag any wave file right into the noise oscillator while it's on and you'll see it show up right there. You can play it just like a uh, standard synth, right? Where you play a note and you hear the samples. Okay, now when you enable key tracking, you're actually enabling the sample to be played across all the keys on your controller. And the pitch changes that way, right? The higher you play, the faster it's going to play through. The lower you play, the slower. So we can actually take a drum loop that we've made or are using, and we could actually get new drum sounds out of it. I'm going to show you this trick. One is by just playing with the pitch in real time and uh, resampling that. And the other way is to move the phase, which kind of acts like a fast forward and rewind, uh, because phase is where you are in the sample at any given moment. So you can actually move it. Let's hear that with an LFO first. See, you can go backwards in time, you can go forwards, you can do tape stop effects, which is really cool. Here we go. Let's start it as link and uh, trigger. So you can get these cool little movements and deciding the amount is going to be crucial. So that's kind of a cool sound. One thing to try is resample in your DAW. I can do a video on that if you guys aren't sure how to do that. And uh, if not, though, let's stick to Serum just to kind of reaffirm some of the videos we made last time on resampling. So let's say we like that kind of movement. Resample it to an oscillator. And you can actually access the sound here. Now, as I told you before, uh, you'll have to tune it down to get it somewhat similar to the actual sound that you just heard. But uh, we can actually now scan through the WAV file quite quite well. Okay, it's going to have its clicks and quirks. However, that might be embraced depending on what you're doing. If you want it to be really smooth, the best thing to do is resample it into your DAW as an audio file. So just hold down your MIDI note and bounce in place or render or export the audio and bring it back in. So this is great fun because we could actually find some great little moments in there. You could use some of these kind of drum samples for FM synthesis as well, which sounds really nice. So let's do FM from A, just have a peak, maybe with a basic sine wave. Okay, it doesn't seem like much now, but check this out. Or something like leaving it on a waveform but moving the pitch of this. You'll get some kind of interesting timbres that way. Remember, without the FM, you're just hearing a sine wave, but with a lot of it, you're going to get some intense movement. And to uh, tie that all together, we could actually move through our drum sample here, which is pretty cool. Let's pick a different area of the waveform, like maybe over here. You could also try AM, which is interesting. Amplitude modulation. Try throwing that through some effects and you got pretty unique timbre.
hopefully that gives you guys some ideas on using the sampler in a creative way and resampling it and doing various types of synthesis with that. So we kind of have a multi-step process. You know, one of the creative things about Serum I find is the workflow. You can just really start with out knowing where you're going and you can stumble on these nice creative things if you have some of the tools in your toolkit, right? Like knowing about the sampler, knowing about different types of movement you can get in the oscillators and with the uh, types of synthesis. So thanks for checking us out and we really appreciate you guys watching. Leave a comment, subscribe, or hit us up at lp24audio.com. Thanks.